local New York City guide and today I'm in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, but I am taking the train over to explore one of the most beautiful subway stations here in New York that you honestly cannot get access to. Except if you are on the 6 train and you just ride it past that last stop, you keep on the train and you can see it just out of the corner of your eye through the window. It's a little bit dark. However, there is another way to see it, and that is what I'm going to tell you all about today. It is the way through the New York Transit Museum. You have to first be a member, so you have to buy a membership, and then, in addition to that, you have to keep on your emails and be ready to sign up for their tour of the abandoned city hall. It is definitely their most popular tour, but they do a ton of tours around New York, around New York City subway stations, and I am so grateful that I finally got a chance to sign up. I'm on the list, I'm going today. My one goal, I have one goal, is just to take one photo with my dress. Yes, I'm wearing a red gown. Why would I? I'm afraid I probably have three challenges. Challenge number one, I have to try and get a shot without anyone in it. It is probably gonna be a big tour, so that might be really hard. Challenge number two, I only have 20 minutes to get the shot. I'm not sure how big the station is, what it's gonna be like, what the conditions are, what the light is gonna be like. I hope it's good, I don't know. And challenge number three, I'm not allowed to bring my tripod. So I'm going to prop it up, my camera up on my purse, on the ground, see what happens, and hopefully I still get the shot. We'll find out.
Okay. Anything up there? Okay, <laughs> is it focused? And there we go. I interrupt this video because I kind of wanted to add a little bit more a couple days later as the snow is melting and I was able to kind of reflect on that whole experience, which was super quick. Um, but you know, you're actually in City Hall for only 20 minutes. The whole tour is 90 minutes. The whole beginning, you're walking around above ground, you're learning about the history, and it was super educational, but unfortunately it was a lot of things I already knew, a lot of things that I included in my blog posts that I had researched um, for my, you know, 25 secrets about the subway and things like that. So, as m even though, wow, it's loud in this city. Even though I felt like I knew a lot of the facts already, I can't stress how amazing it was to see something that you've learned about, you've read about, you've written about in person. And I have to say that the City Hall experience, actually seeing it in person, going on the tour, was one of the coolest things I've ever done here in New York, which says something because I've done a lot of cool experiences. And being able to go see it after reading about it, you know, listening and hearing about it and everything was so cool. So even though it's expensive, even though you have to buy both a membership to the New York Transit Museum and then you also have to stay on top of your emails once they release the tours, they release the tour dates three times a year, three times a year and then they have 16 different dates throughout the year. So you know, it's a lot of hoops that you have to jump through. It's kind of expensive. If you can plan ahead, get the membership online ahead of time and get the, you know, sign up for the tour because if you've ever wanted to learn about the subway um, and the, you know, unique history that it has and this first ever station, the subway station that was the crowning jewel of the entire transit, you know, system in 1904 when it opened. 150,000 people rode it. It went from City Hall downtown all the way up to Grand Central and even further. And it's just a, I, like, I, I feel like I'm not giving it justice, but I need to explain as much as I can as how cool this was. Yes, you're there with a bunch of people. Yes, they don't love photography. I do want to say that. they. Definitely only they only yelled at me once. Okay, great. So now that I've frozen my butt off um, What else did I want to say? Okay <clears throat> uh, Did I say everything? I don't know. I don't know what I said. It's so cold Oh also, fun fact, City Hall was actually rebuilt in a studio for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I have an entire video and blog post about that and included, you know, stock footage of City Hall, but I think it's so fascinating that they rebuilt it for that scene at the end of the first movie where they have a huge fight scene, you know, every, you know, little bit of violence, I'm like, oh no, don't hurt the station, it's so beautiful. Uh, so. <laughs> I'll let these noisy trucks go by. And I definitely wanted to just like mention that because I thought that was so cool when I first saw it in the movie. I was like, that's such an awesome New York thing that most New Yorkers probably don't realize. But you know, if you do know about City Hall, you'll see the sign and you'll be like, ooh, I know exactly which City Hall that is. That's the old station, not the new Brooklyn Bridge City Hall stop. And I guess with that, I will let all the noisy buses pass and I will let you continue on with the video. But I wanted to let you, you know, in on the magic and let you know about Fantastic Beasts, what it was really like for me. I absolutely love this experience and highly recommend it. And I really hope that everyone gets to go see it. All you have to do is sign up for the museum, membership, keep an eye on your emails. You do have to like, if you're only visiting for a certain time, you have to make sure that that is included in one of the dates. So it is tricky but I highly recommend it. You need to go on this tour. Um, it, 
keep in mind that photography is sort of limited. They are very strict about photography, no tripods and things like that. So I did have to sort of, you know, make do with putting my camera on the ground, prop it on, up on my purse. But I have done that before and I can do it again. It was not that bad. And asking for pe people for help, um, you know, I asked a couple of people, but for the most part, I just put it on the ground and it worked out. So. I hope you enjoyed the rest of this video and see the finally the photos that I got. I actually think they turned out pretty good, but you have to tell me. Keep watching. Okay, bye. I actually did it. I got not just one shot, but I think I got three really good shots. But you have to tell me what you think. What do you think of these? Which one is your favorite? Comment down below. <laughs> okay. And as always, say yes to new adventures, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I don't know why. Because <laughs> I dance like this. Who dances them? I don't know why. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, cool. Bye.